Hello all you out lesbians. There's been a lot of talk about coming out of the closet since Steph Stance's video about, you know, coming out of the closet. And a lot of people are making a lot of good, good valid points. I just want to say that there's kind of a fine line between, I mean, what is an out lesbian, really? What is an out lesbian to you? I'm going to open up comments on this video because I don't really know what an out lesbian is, I guess. I live in a rural area. I don't see lesbians. I don't talk to lesbians other than my girlfriend. I mean, now and then maybe, but I don't run into them in the streets. I don't go to community functions, really isn't any, dances. I don't even really, I don't see women together. I don't live in that world. And so I consider myself an out lesbian because everybody outed me when I was 16. I'm 38 years old now. I've lived in the same town pretty much my whole life. Not because I didn't know the difference. I lived in um, Berkeley, California for a while, and uh, that's where I met my partner. And I've lived other places, but basically I've been here forever. People know that I'm a lesbian, and it's kind of a don't ask, don't tell sort of a deal. I just, I don't, I'm a real estate broker, and if somebody comes into the office, I don't say, oh, I'm a lesbian, work with me. So I understand the people that are on YouTube saying, I don't want to be identified just as a lesbian. You know, some of them are saying, I'm musicians, I'm photographers, I'm writers, I'm all these wonderful things. You know, I'm parents, I'm not just a lesbian. But with what's going on in the world right now, I think it's important to be out, but not in a political way of, I mean, people are having to fight. They're having to fight for their rights. They're having to fight for their children. Children are getting beat up at school because their parents are lesbians. You know, young men, this, on the blog I read recently, got killed a couple years ago and they're trying to get his his murderer to not get out on parole. And so there's some really bad things happening out there and so I think it's important now to have a voice and to come out, but I don't really know, like I said, what out is. Is it marching in the streets? Is it going to the Prop 8 rally? Is it telling your boss or your co-workers or your parents? I mean, I consider myself out, but I'm also in a safe environment. I'm in my house. I'm in my hometown. The most discrimination I have ever had in my life, ironic and odd, was on Fisherman's Wharf in San Francisco about 14 years ago. And uh, I thought, you know, I'm in the Gay Bay. I'm in San Francisco. This is awesome. I can just be me. Well, no. I got, uh, I didn't get beat up or nothing, but I did get um, some pretty horrible remarks to me and, and a lot of hate directed, you know, right at me. And so, I don't necessarily get that in my hometown. The people here have the decency to talk about me behind my back. And they all do. Mostly because I'm just very outspoken. And in my little world, I'm very outspoken about real estate, uh, mortgage fraud. Uh, there's a lot of crime, different crime things that, I, that aren't prosecuted and I speak out about those. I don't really speak out about being a lesbian. I do really feel for the people that are under persecution with this and so I don't know if if I'm out or not if I'm an out lesbian so like I said I don't go out in the streets and just say I'm a lesbian but I would love to be able to you know if I felt affectionate towards my partner to grab her hand in the street you know at a, at a function or to have even in my town I've been here my whole life oftentimes my partner and I walk into a restaurant and they all stop you know, the plates and the clatter and everything, just quiet. And I find it actually quite shocking. And so probably we'll leave this rural area for a while and try to experience something different. And the lesbian vlogs, you folks speaking on YouTube, really helps people like me in areas like where I live because it's nice to know that you're out there and you're just so awesome and I love your stories and I love the funniness and I just, you know, love hearing you talk about being gay, talking about your girlfriend, talking about the hate you get or coming out or one girl talked about her mom coming into the bathroom and um, trying to help her with the sin of, you know, being a lesbian and, you know, just all this horrible stuff that happens to people and they're sharing their stories on YouTube and I'm really glad that you're there. I've, I've seen some people pretty down, pretty depressed about life in general and, you know, just kind of feeling small world and, and not knowing, just 
Anyway, your guys' your guys' lesbian vlogs, it's a mouthful, really make people they inspire people. And they make people proud to be a lesbian. They make them remember what loving a woman is all about. And that yes, lesbians aren't just lesbians, they're all kinds of other things. But we are lesbians, and until we stop getting uh, beaten in the streets, and until you know crimes are punished against lesbians, and we have more rights, it's kind of important to stand up when you can. But oftentimes, you know, me stand, me being out here in a video in my home, isn't like you know you guys being out out there in the cities or maybe at work or the different places that you go and having to put up with constant discrimination and constant attitude. I now work from home because I do internet marketing for my real estate brokerage and my partner and I do, like I said, um, vitamin supplements and things like that online, internet marketing. So I don't really know what you guys are going through. I don't have to work at like one of the local mills or factories where you got people being vulgar or discriminated against or just your life just you know constantly under some sort of stress I don't live in that world I keep... <laughs> so I feel for you guys who do and I want to be out here and try to support you so that's part of what we're doing with the Out Lesbian Network so email me lesbian at outlesbian.com and see what we can do to help you guys in your world to maybe work from home or get your music out there or whatever it takes to make sure that you know that you matter and that your friends and family and the people in your world are not the only community you have. You have all of us out here in the entire world. All of us lesbians are here to listen to your story and if something's going on and you need media coverage for it, we can do that. And my partner and I can get you exposure on a lot of levels really fast. That's how strong our internet marketing network is. We're very strong. We don't, we're spread too thin as you can imagine. We have a huge amount of websites and we need more people to come and join us and to write on our blogs and post their stories. But if you have something that needs instant media coverage and to get your story out, then we can do that too. So anyway, I'm glad you guys are all out, out there and email me and start writing on our blogs and getting your story told. Have a great day.